hero does. So hopefully we'll oh. be able to see how that's going to go for Lumbre. Uh, Gaia, one of the more interesting players because he's one of those people I just tell that if you do encounter him in your bracket, he's one of those like hidden bosses that like you might sleep on because he uses hero and regular pit, but don't because he's taking characters and players like Nito to like be upset at. Okay, well, let's see what they have in store. So I'm looking here from Moonbray. He's pretty much doing a really good job of keeping up the pressure. Gets the forward air, enough to push out Gale a little bit away. The one thing that I do like that Moonbray is kind of playing is he knows that if he gives Gale a second of the day, he's going to have time to access that full ability. Uh, choices that he has right with each magic art that he can use so that's giving him more access to rng and i think that's the one thing that lumber wants to aim to shut down like so try to see that up smash sneaking in and then falling up with an up air oh okay whoa what's going on over here it's close pk fire oh i would have loved to have seen him just maybe go for a back air but i like the fact that he sees you know what gale's at the ledge let's not overextend myself and i just go for a simple down smash because he has to try to snap the ledge with uh up b I just love the way that Lumbre like abuses Ness's movement. Like just a few seconds ago, you noticed that he used his second jump and immediately stopped his momentum by throwing out a PK fire. So it completely yeah. it messes up like the angle of the PK fire where you expect it to go. But we see the, the kill for kill there happening. <laughs> we have even stocks. I mean, we and when you talk about movement too, we saw earlier the one thing that might have cost Lumber the stock there was when he went for directional air dodge. But that's the thing about Ness, right? That directional air dodge feels like a third jump, especially when he tries to land on the stage. Good forward air, immediately enough time to try to shut him down from going for any of his magic points. Okay, there we go. PK fire at the ledge, but a great forward air from Gaio is gonna put Lumber off the ledge, allow him to recover. But a nair out of shield, such a good option for Ness. Ooh, sneaking in that back. What? <laughs> oh, well, that's what I was talking about too. Like he needs to be this. He needs to be a little bit aggressive enough to not give Gale the ability to go for options like that. That was a really good PK Thunder. Yeah, so that's because, the aggression you were talking about. Like that's those are the options that he needs to go for. Yeah, if you give Hero too much time, he will uh, able to access like that and could take you out really easily. Okay, rolling back, we see another side B. That side B can be very difficult to deal with, especially if you're not. Like, oh no! You he's have to really have to pay attention to the animations. He's got the double that. buff of oomph and psych up. Yep. Could see possible up throw that kills or back throw. Could just see a back air. Oh, okay. Whew. Luckily for Lumbre, he was able to shield that up tilt. And his shield ate up all those buffs. Yeah. But still, you know, he's not. He's not out, he of, the, like, oh, out of the danger zone yet. I was so close too, he was one inch away from getting hit by that forward tilt. Another opportunity here. Lumber kind of takes his time at the ledge. Sneaky with that forward air, enough to bring it around back with the PK Thunder. Wow. Sealing another stock with a PK Thunder. Lumber is so good at that. Yeah, I think that the one thing that's that's the one thing Gale wasn't really accounting for, even when he did get a bounce the last time. Like, okay, cool, I shut down PK Fire and PK Thunder. But you have to realize that you don't reflect Ness as a projectile himself. So like you just the way that Lumer plays it around is like fine, I can still use PK Thunder to even recover or just to trick you. And then even though you have bounce, that's probably one thing Gale was assessing himself for. Like, okay, I have bounce, he's not gonna PK Thunder me. It's like, oh shoot, he PK Thunders himself. Okay, well, that was a very, very close game, and I like the the adjustments we started to see from Lumbre. Gaio, I want to see more, like, abusing of the side B. It looked like Lumbre was having a little bit difficulty, especially with the falling side B. Mm -hmm. It's it's more of one of those moves that, like, he does have a pretty, pretty nice range, I would say. Oh, yeah, especially <laughs> level 2. Yeah, level 2, level you one. have to really watch out for level 3 as well, because, like, level 3 does give you some armor. Um... Once it's fully, like, literally on Hero himself. I think the one thing that Gayo has to also understand is, like, he has to realize that Lumbre is the aggressor. So he may not have enough time to go ahead and activate any of the specials he has in mind. That's true, but we did see Lumbre get caught off guard with those specials. We saw a very quick explosion take Lumbre's second stock. But running it right back to Battlefield, we'll see if uh, Lumbre is able to clutch out more stocks with, the, with that PK Thunder. Yeah. 
All right, Lumber a little bit more on the left side here. I like the fact that we kind of see how the way that Ness plays with using PK Fire, Forward Air, probably one of the best Wi-Fi characters out there <laughs> in the Wi-Fi tier list. It's the ability for him to not only just move around, but his projectiles and his aerials too as well. Solid down smash, not enough pressure. Interesting that we saw uh, Kyle go for a side B in that situation because uh, we saw Lumbre, you know, put the down smash onto his shield. And that's a lot of time to punish, but for yeah. instead of going for like something bigger, he just went for a side B. I guess get take the guaranteed damage and then, you know, we'll set up for, for more later. Yeah. I know that situation, that's probably what he was looking at. Oh no, right when he tried to land on the platform, once again though, Gay with the first stock. That's right, Psycho's gonna assist in that, taking that stock, and very smart from Lumbre. He was, he saw that, uh, guy was on low on mana, and does have the bounce, so he tries to try to, you know, time out the bounce a little bit, but Gaio taking advantage, gets a little bit of heal as well. Yeah, counterplay for counterplay, that's enough shield damage to go for a little bit of a shield poke. Using the side magnet to stall right above the up till great spacing from Lumbre. Okay, there's the oomph. Yeah, at this, at this opportunity here, Lumbre has to play a little more conservative. I mean, he's at 43, but one missed opportunity, and Gao can take this all the way to the fodder and just put Lumbre at one stock. That's right, using the whack, getting, or not the whack, zoom, getting right back to stage. Now that's gotta be infuriating for Lumbre because, you know, he pushes. Gaio off stage, and he's trying to set up his edge, edge guard. Yep. But Zoom just comes into play, and now, now Hero's Ooh. back. But there's a the snipe, chase him down with the PK Thunder. It looked like he might have gone for an up special, and in the opportunity, in the process of that, he met the actual elevation into the PK Thunder, which launched him that high up. That's true, but now we have bounce back online for Gaio, and Lumbre continues to get thrown off stage, getting a little bit of shield pressure, stalling in the air with a. PK explosion? What is that called? Oh, PK flash. PK flash, that's right. <laughs> it's because we rarely see that move, but sometimes we just forget PK flash is an actual move Ness has. But I mean, like we see Lumbre, he's not afraid to bust out all the tools that Ness has just to try to secure a victory here. 148. Oh, very smart. Using the PK, or the side magnet, to absorb. It, the wind box still activated and pushed Lumbre towards the ledge, but no damage taken, no danger really given. Oh, that back air just missed. Whew. That oh, thunder. Roll, okay. I feel like if Loomer had just held his, guard, his, his ground there and didn't roll, he would have caught Gale on the roll there and he would have caught him for slipping up that way. But I totally understand it, right? You don't want to be at the ledge where you have that high percent to you. Okay, I like that. Kaio was looking for Zoom just to make a easier time recovering. Didn't find it. Still able to recover the cost of a lot of mana, though. On a back air, gonna clip mm -hmm. Gaio, and that's gonna take the stock. We have even stocks, Lumbre versus Gaio. Okay, that's a lot of mana burned, and another oh. up tilt, but the high ceiling is gonna save Lumbre. Yeah, and on the startup of the PK fire, you can see Lumbre thought he had it down, but unfortunately, that startup is not enough. That oomph should be going away pretty soon. There it goes. Now, Lumbre have, really has to start fighting, climbing up this hill. Yeah, it's, it's a PK pretty big hill to climb. This is oh. a really good setup. 62%. He knows he should not go for a pummel back throw. Just try to get enough percent. 95. This is Lumbre's pretty much edge guard here. He holds the down smash for good reason. One more? No. Yep. Able to sneak back on stage. Lumbre given Gaio a second chance at life. Which really, like, Lumbre trying to close out the stock. If he's able to get a grab, that would have been the that would have been the set. I wouldn't say he. I wouldn't say Lumre. It looks like Lumre had a second win here because he's so close. Nice absorption there for the 135 into the back air. What a play! That's right, two o Lumre. And a very entertaining set. Like Lumre is still able to clutch out two games from the brink of defeat. Yeah, I was gonna say like he gave Gaio a second chance at life, but I would say Gaio gave Lumre a second win there because that was pretty much Gaio's game to win. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Lord Bahamut, for the Twitch Prime sub. 30 months, man. Thank you so much. Hey, Lord Bahamut hype. But I, I totally understand you. I know how a lot of people are saying in the chat they wanted to be a little bit more SoCal inclusive. But, you know, we're trying to reach out to everybody out there who's looking for an online tournament on a Monday. As you guys all know, MSM is probably the biggest local on a Monday night. 
And since we cannot go to a venue, why not make it one of the biggest online tournaments on a Monday night, right? Yeah, we're we're making dreams come true. There's a lot of people who want to go to MSM, but you know, just don't have the capacity. They're not in SoCal, or maybe they can't make it to one of the other sagas and stay for the MSM after. So this is their opportunity. You know, take part in MSM. Huge part of Smash culture. Yeah, I mean, it's one of the, like I said, one of the best Monday tournaments out there. You can watch here live on Twitch.tv forward slash 2G Gaming. But I think we might be seeing, I'm not sure. I think we might be seeing Dragneo and Rhino Dude finally come back. 